Welcome to Crema Media's Resources Watch, a weekly video roundup of the events and people making and shaping the news in the mining industry. This week, urgent steps needed to revive South Africa's economy. Baxter discusses mining industry's electricity self-generation plan and Minerals Council South Africa lobbying strongly for junior miners. Urgent steps are needed to revive the South African economy, Minerals Council South Africa Chairperson Nkulisi Mgojo said. Investor and business confidence in South Africa is declining to unprecedented levels. And really, urgent steps are needed to salvage and revive our country's economy. As business, we are increasingly, increasingly engaging directly with government through BUSA, particularly on the energy crisis. Given the gravity of the situation, we believe the time has come to be more assertive in conveying our position. Minerals Council South Africa CEO Roger Baxter stressed that the reliability of electricity supply was critical for the mining industry. Of the new potential projects that we're looking at from the Minerals Council membership point of view, um, by, far the, by far the vast majority is, is solar, a little bit of high, um, diesel solar hybrid, because you know, obviously battery technology is not advanced enough to be able to give us the storage we need for overnight operations. And uh, there's a little bit of base load coal uh, in that equation, but the majority is on the renewable side. And the issue is that, uh, I mean, government have had a m very mixed experience. Window one was like four bucks, four rand a kilowatt. Window two came down. Window three was a bit cheaper. But that's their negotiation with the with the with the solar industry. We're not talking about putting uh, our power on the network to sell to other people. We're talking at the moment about self gen, creating our own reliability of supply, which is critical to the industry. So. Um, we're going to go for the least cost, but most uh, long-term efficient type, given the long-term nature of mining projects. And solar has a design life for 25 years. Junior and emerging miners hold a majority of the 1,700 to 1,800 mining rights that have been issued in South Africa. The junior mining industry earned 54 mil billion rand. It spent 55 billion rand. It's a loss-making business at the moment. It's a tough gig. There's 23,000 people just of our members employed. You know, the one thing that we have been fortunate is having Minister Mantash. He, he's been there and he's got his hands dirty and he actually understands what a mine is. And he likes to tell people, you know, mining is inherently a deep, dark, dirty and very often dangerous occupation. It's not a get-rich-quick gig. Unfortunately, with the best of intentions in South Africa, in the drive for transformation, what happened is assets got moved into other people's hands, not necessarily financed people and not necessarily technically capable people. And as a result, the South African junior mining industry has become a bottom-feeding industry. For mining news as it breaks, stay logged on to MiningWeekly.com and register for our free daily newsletter.